Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm so excited to talk to you today about the new image generation tool in ChatGPT that of course everyone is talking about. I specifically thinking about it from a designer standpoint in terms of what can save me time. When it comes to ChatGPT, especially with the image generation tool, I was thinking about it from the standpoint of CAD drawings. And is there a way that I could take images and maybe get them into AutoCAD? My previous video was talking about taking images and actually putting them into SketchUp. But what about AutoCAD? Because I'm in AutoCAD literally day in and day out. Drawing furniture pieces, drawing tile, drawing things that are very intricate and detail oriented take a lot of time. And so I was thinking like, if I can take these images, convert them to a PNG, convert that PNG file to a DXF file, and then import that DXF into AutoCAD, that would be amazing. So that's exactly what we're going to do here today. I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm going to show you all the tools that you need, and I'm going to show you some of the things that I have played around with personally that I have had success with, and um, I think you're going to enjoy this. So here we go. Okay, so to begin, I probably tell you to first off, make sure that you're using the 4.0 model and not the 0.3 model that just launched this week. 4.0 is going to be better for this purpose. I have found, I tried it on 0.3 and it did not work well. They just kept analyzing things and it was a mess. So start with 0.4. What we're going to do is actually start with this bookshelf that I'm going to upload here. And when you upload it, you're basically just going to tell ChatGPT to create a 2D flat elevation CAD drawing of this bookshelf in this particular angle slash view period. There must be no sense of depth in the 2D CAD drawing and no perspective lines allowed period just clean CAD style outlines like you'd use in a construction set. So we're going to start there and it's probably going to not do it right the first time. It's going to do something like this. And what you'll want to do is respond back to it and say, that's not the type of image I'm looking for. I need it to look like this. And then you'll basically want to give it an example of an elevation that you've done before so that it can understand what type of drawing that you are trying to get back. So we're going to upload a drawing here and give it a reference point. Okay. So it did understand it. However, you can see a perspective to it and we don't want that. We need it to be like forward facing, no angle. So I need to alter it slightly to where it is directly forward facing with no angles to the view. Okay, so this is what we are looking for. Now, if you notice here, it did not quite give me the arches. As you can see, like these arches right here, it's close, but it's not 100% um, correct. So I could go back into ChatGPT and say curves to the shelf edges are not accurate and see what it does. So you could revise this as many times as you need to, um, but it's getting the general point of what it's supposed to be doing. Okay, so this one is better. We've got a curve here. We've got some curved elements here. It didn't do it all quite right, but for the purposes of what I'm going for here, this is great. So what I'm going to say here, I'm actually not going to say anything. I'm going to save this image to my downloads because this is a PNG file. Then what we are going to do is use this website here. It's called Convertio. And we are going to upload this image to Convertio. And we are going to change it to a DXF file and convert that. It's very fast and it's super easy. So all you do is download it once it's done. 
So we're going to take it over here to AutoCAD and we are going to open that file. So here we are. Here is our bookshelf. So I will tell you this, the dimensions are completely off. You are going to have to scale in anything that you import. I did a water jet tile and it came in at like 85 feet whenever the actual dimensions were like 15 inches square. So it is definitely something that you're going to have to scale in, which is fine. But for just the visual of being able to have this bookshelf, that's really amazing. So just to give you guys some ideas of other things that I've done here. So just to show you that water jet tile that I'm talking about, this is the water jet tile that I actually put into ChatGPT, converted it to this PNG file right here. And then to show you what that looked like in AutoCAD, this is what it came in at. And again, you can easily just uh, scale this as needed. So just SC and scale it up and down, whatever you need to do but super easy to alter that once you get it in. I've also done things like this bed right here. I converted that to this drawing right here, which is awesome. And I love like being able to have like bed elevation drawings for like certain images. If I'm trying to show like draperies in a room or something like that, just to be able to have things like this. So I can now, like whatever it is that I've selected for the client, I can literally transfer that into a DXF file through ChatGPT using their PNG image converter. Another thing that I did here, which I thought this was an interesting idea, drawing elements for like bookshelves and things like that take a lot of time. We have a CAD file that we literally save all of our elements onto. And so we don't have to like redraw a little like knickknacks and stuff for just like decorating out elevations, especially whenever we're doing bookshelves. But I went into mid journey and I saved this image, which just has a lot of like little knickknacks and accessories on it. And then I put that into ChatGPT, came out with this, and then I can literally put this into the DXF file, convert it put that into AutoCAD and then use any of these elements as like little accessories and knickknacks. I mean, think about all the time this can save you and think about all of the things that you can convert over by doing this. I mean, literally any image that you've got, just convert it and scale it in, get it how you need to and be done with it. I did a couple benches earlier. This is, this was the bench. This was the drawing and this is what it looked like in AutoCAD here. So this bench here was another bench that I did. So took this guy, converted it over here. I can scale this down. I can whatever I need to do. So I, I was like thinking through this. I'm like, man, I could do plumbing fixtures. I could do lighting fixtures. I could do accessories. I can do elevation walls. I can do all kinds of things. And even like actual elevations, like I just took, I took this guy and created this off of an image and I could even ask ChatGPT to extend this and put this into CAD. There are so many things that you guys can do with this. And I just think that this is such an amazing tool. So I hope this helps. If you guys have any questions, be sure to drop it into the comments below. I will leave links for the Convertio file converter to, to take it to DXF. If ChatGPT says that it will take it to DXF, you can try it, but I didn't have any luck with that whenever I personally tried to do it. It just kept erroring out on me. So I just used the converter and it was fine. But if you have any luck with that, drop it in the comments and let me know. I'd be curious to know what it does for you. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. I'm always coming up with new and cool ways to show designers how to use AI and use it to their advantage, especially for time-saving things like this. So I hope you follow along and I will see you guys next time. Thanks so much. Thank you.